statements. Okay. Lindsey Walls serves as an inspiration for teens in Minneapolis. Running Courageous Hearts, a nonprofit art studio allowing youths to tap into their creativity. They can see that, like, we all have struggles. A lot of them know my story, and if they don't know it, they find it out at some point along the way. It's a story that begins like a normal day. I was heading southbound on 35. But at 6.05 p.m. on August 1st, 2007, as Lindsay was halfway across the bridge, everything changed. It snapped in half. <laughs> um, I, my car kind of did a nosedive into the Mississippi River. I was trapped in my car, almost drowned. In my car, luckily, was um, able to get out. A construction worker helped guide her out of the water, and Lindsay says it's a silver lining in the aftermath of this tragedy. Survivors who had also fallen 100 feet um, thought they were going to die, who were suddenly running around the bridge um, helping others. <laughs> Passersby, the people who lived in the neighborhoods near the bridge who ran down the riverbanks. But getting off the bridge was just the beginning, with years of recovery from a shattered vertebrae and PTSD. It really hit me um, for a long time. I was really isolated. I um, lost track of a lot of relationships. She says her family has played a big role in the rehabilitation process, both physically and mentally. But over the last 10 years, one of the keys to her recovery has been telling her story. There it is. That's my name right there. First to humanize the rubble, and now to help others. You can have really hard stuff happen and you can persevere through it. That It doesn't have to be um, the thing that makes you crumble. It's led her to creating sturdy foundations through inspiring creativity. For a long time when I was envisioning hearts, it felt like a thank you, a way of paying forward what I had received. Shining a light on hope after one of Minnesota's darkest days and turning August 1st into a day to celebrate life. <laughs> In Minneapolis, Sean Logging, KUIC News 12.